In this video, I'll explain the difference between a list and a single component to you. How to exchange components, edit dimensions and user-defined component dimensions. Let's get started! DigiPara Lift Designer provides two specific types of components. The list components and the single components. The list components are components that are used several times in relation to the number of floors in the elevator project. For example, the landing door, rail brackets, or shaft lightning. The component itself, or the parent component, is marked by an index. Single components are components which exist only once in the elevator, for example gearing, car frame, or safety gear. After you've learned the difference between list and single components, I'll show you how you can exchange components. Components can be exchanged via the component navigator. We will exchange the landing door. You open the navigator by double-clicking at the corresponding component or via the components category 0020 property items. When you exchange the landing door, the program will ask you to automatically exchange the car door as well. Per default, the door will be exchanged on all floors at the current wall. But if you only want to change one list component, you can set this in the properties at grouping 0195. Set the property grouping to this door is different. All changes, component exchange or dimension, will now apply to the selected component only. Now that you've learned how to exchange components, we'll take a look at how to edit dimensions. Editing a dimension value in DigiPara Lift Designer changes the 3D BIM model by, for example, changing the car width. Component dimension can be edited via the property docking window or by double-clicking the component dimension. In general, grayed-out dimension cannot be edited directly, but there are some exceptions. Fixed BIM component dimensions, for example the shaft door width, can be edited too even though they are grayed out. Select the respective component. The width of the shaft door can be selected via the drop-down menu in the properties. If you require a value that isn't listed, you can enter an individual value via the extended door dimension property. Activate the checkbox user defined and edit, for example, the shaft door depth as Y. The resulting dimensions are another exception. They cannot be edited directly, but only via the Properties docking window. Here you can edit the individual dimensions so that the resulting dimension has the desired value. Thanks for watching!